and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we're going to do my mini flea cup tag. And it's getting going. I know, it's like July 11th right now and I'm posting you this right now. I'm sorry for the delay. Last month was such a crazy work, work month for me. There was just so much going on, but now things are kind of settled. But um, yeah, so let's get going. So my first book is What's the Best Book You Have Read So Far? Uh, so my best book would probably be Heart of the Sun Romeo or even The Red Palace by June Her. So those two are my favorite books. I actually don't have a lot of favorite books this year. It's kind of been up and down, but if I have to choose, it would probably be The Red Palace and Heart of the Sun Romeo. And my next question is, best sequel you have read? This will probably be tough, because I, I don't think I haven't read that many sequels. But probably it will be A Venom Dark and Sweet. It's the number two and the finale duology of A Venom... A Magic Steamed and Poison Sight. <laughs> so that will probably be my best sequel thus far. And so yeah, I, I just like it. I just like the how the team magic works. I like I like some of the characters, and I really think it's a fun read. I mean, I really do like the magic system. I think it's so cool. So yeah. Uh, so my next question is: new release you haven't gotten to but want to? Oh boy, I have a lot of them. So. So yeah, I do want to read Shanghai Immortal by... I forgot who it is now. It's A.Y. Chow? I think that's the, that's who it was. Yeah, so Shanghai Immortal by A.Y. Chow. It has already came out in June 1st. I have yet to read it. I really like it. It sounds so cool. And the cover is really, really pretty. And I'm, I don't know if you want to consider this new release just because it came out in April of this year. So I still want to read Silver in the Bone by Alexandra Viking. I actually have it in here. Oh no, just kidding, it's right there. So I haven't them there. I still haven't yet to fin I have yet to finish it and read it. So yeah, those are my two new releases I haven't gotten. But there's more, but those are the ones that I really want to get to. My next question is anticipating release for the second half of the year. You <laughs> and just so long, so I do want Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. And there's also a new book by Jennifer Saint. Uh, it's currently untitled, but it's a book about Hannah. I just can't remember if it will come this year or next year. I think it might actually come next year to me. Yeah, it, it's coming out next year, so this book is about Hannah. But my other exciting releases is Kingdom is Throne of the Fallen, I think that's what it's called by Kerry Maniscalco. That's like kinda of like a spin-off almost that follows with No so it, it follows Envy, sorry. It follows Envy and I'm just really excited. So I I wish she started out with I wish she started out with Wrath. So I know Wrath is just my favorite Prince of Hell, so yeah. And I have two more books that I really want, that I really am excited for, and that's Our Vengeful Souls by Christy McManus. So they already came out June 6th, but I may as well include it in anyway. And my other one is Zara Guardians of Dawn Number 1 by S.A. Jones, and that will come out on August 1st, 2023. So I'm really excited for these guys and I hope there will be a 4 stars because heaven knows I need 4 stars. And my next question is biggest disappointment. I had a lot of biggest disappointment because nothing... I don't know why. I was just struggling to get 4 stars this year so... But one of them was probably Day of the Fall of the, Fall of the Night by... Samantha Shannon. I was honestly looking forward to that, but my god, was it so tedious. <laughs> I, I hated it. I gave it up to the stars, but I hated it. I didn't like when the book was going. It was just so much and confusing and so many words. Like, 
I don't know why, but there were just so many words that just felt flat. So that's probably my honest biggest disappointment. So I'm really sad I didn't enjoy it. And my next question is biggest surprise. Um, I don't really have books that makes me like surprised. Um, but it, it will probably be Kaiki by Shinami Patel. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. That's it will probably be my biggest surprise because I feel like this book has been hyped up so much so every time a book is hyped up I'm afraid I won't like it at all. So that's why I stay away from hype hype hyped up books, so yeah, but this one I actually really like. I really like this one. But however, because of the reviews I have read now, um, I actually might go and go back and re read the original story of Kaiki and see if my ratings will drop down. So, yeah. My next question is: New favorite author debut or new to you? Honestly, I don't really have new authors that I really like. Yeah, I don't think that has ever been an author that I really like. Maybe except for Chloe Gong, Gong, if you want to call her a new author, but even though she has been writing since these Violet Delights, but I do like Art of Quag, but she also wrote the Poppy War Trilogy. So, I mean, those as far as my new to me favorite authors will go. I do like Kelly Maniscalco, but she's not really that new, so, yeah, I don't really have that many new, new favorite authors. My next question is, new fictional crush? I don't really have fictional crush. I don't know, it's just something weird to fall in love with, but it, but it will probably be still Thomas Cresswell from Stalking Jack the Ripper series and Wrath. Like, I wouldn't really consider him a crush, I just like his character, but that's about it. So, I don't really have fictional crushes. Next question is, new favorite character? Oh my. Honestly, I have no favorite character, in all honesty. Everyone just, all the books I have read just seem so dumb and problematic and just so annoying. So, despite giving it 4 stars on some of the books, um, yeah, I have no favorite characters, so, I don't know if that's an issue, but I just have no favorite characters. My next question is, book that made you cry? Honestly, I have not read a single book that almost made me cry. Uh, maybe except the Poppy Wall Church, because that almost made me cry when I was reading it for the first time, but I know it's been a, such a while since it came out. But honestly, as of this year, there hasn't been any book that made me cry. I don't know if I, if I am just heartless, but it is what it is, so I just don't know. Yeah, so I just don't have any books that made me cry. And my next question is, book that made you happy? It will probably have to be in Jade Fire Gold by June C. L. Pan. I think that almost like made me really, really happy just because I was like so excited to read it. I really do didn't love the world building. I didn't love the characters and magic system. I think it's cool. So yeah, I so I really like that book a lot. I give it a four stars. Yeah, it will probably have to be Jade Fire Gold that made that a book that made me happy. Next question oh. is best book to film adaptation. Oh, good question. So just to elaborate on that one, basically is book to film adaptation that you have seen this year. Honestly, I haven't seen that many movies this year at all. So and I like I don't know. I, every time there's a book that's coming to a movie, I don't really see it except for Harry Potter. That's the one exception. But, yeah, every time there's a new book, new book to movie, I'm not, I don't really jump on board, so I haven't, so, yeah, so I can't really answer this question just because of that reason. Um, I guess my last question is, what books do you need to read before the end of the year? I swear it keeps piling more and more, so I have like a lot of books to read that I need to catch up on. 
Uh, some of them have been released and some of them have not been released. One of them is Clement, Clinton Menestra by Costanzana uh, Cassidy. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. So this you know, is flying by Clementra and it really came out. I came out on May 2nd of this year. So I really want to get to that book. My other one is The Phoenix Crown, which will come out next year, but I'm still going to put it in here anyways. Because it sounds really, really cool. It's from Kate Quinn and Janie Chung. And my other one is... The Last Hair to Black World Library by Hester Fox. It also sounds really, really cool. My next one will be The Whispering Muse by Laura Purcell. It really came out February 2nd, but I still really want to read it just because it looks so cool and the cover also looks really pretty. <laughs> and also I have two more books, that is Foul Heart Huntsman. Foul Lady Fortune Number 2 by Chloe Gong. It will come out in September 26th of this year. And my n last one is House of Roots and Ruins, which is the number 2 book of House of Salt and Sorrow by Aaron A. Craig. This will come out in July 25th. So I only have two more weeks to read. So, yeah, so those are all the questions I have. It's for the mini freak out tag. Um, I think my reading game could be a lot better, but sometimes I struggle to give a four-star reading. I have to figure it out if it actually really deserves a four-star read, so, that, so that's why I don't give four stars right away, or even five stars. Like, I really have to make sure that it actually resonates with me and things like that. So yeah, so let me know how your reading went this year and what other books you want to read for the second half of the year. Otherwise, please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!